Yet another declaration has come to light in the Depp vs. Heard trial following the footsteps of Amber Heard stylist Samantha McMillan. Unseen witness David Kalaki, who helped renovate Heard's Mustang, has come out and declared that the actress verbally attacked him on the phone after his job was over. His entire declaration is quite graphic and disturbing. So what exactly did David Kalaki say in his declaration? Does it relate to the events discussed in the trial? Watch the video to find out. On November 22nd, 2019, David J. Kalaki filed a declaration in the lawsuit by Johnny Depp against Amber Heard. In his declaration, he detailed all the encounters he had with Amber Heard and her dad, all his run-ins with them and poorly, with him being on the receiving end of obscenities and threats of violence. His testimony came to the limelight through the subreddit Justice for Johnny Depp, which previously publicized Samantha McMillan's declaration as well. David Kalaki stated that he was a car mechanic in Los Angeles who had known Johnny Depp previously. Depp had requested him to work on his then-wife Amber Heard's 1968 Mustang and renovate it. David entered into an agreement and held up his end of the bargain by December 20, 2014. During the course of the contact, David Kalaki had a bizarre meeting with Amber Heard. He had finished installing a sound system in the car following which the actress had asked him to visit her. She wanted to learn about the new sound system and how to operate the touchscreen, connect her phone, make calls, open the map, etc. David arrived at her address at the right time and day, but she was not available. He stated that he had to wait for three hours before he met the actress. They then went to the parking garage and into the Mustang. David claimed that she was in a very happy, jovial mood, exchanging greetings and being pleasant. They sat side by side in the car as David attempted to instruct her. However, in a fast turn of events, the actress apparently said, quote, Here we are alone in a parked car in a dark parking garage. We could do anything in here and nobody would see us. She further added to it with very sexual undertones, which left David speechless. We remind you that Heard was in a relationship with Depp when this happened. David dodged the innuendos and changed the topic of the conversation to the sound system. The specific incident has left a lot of people confused about why the actress tried to make a move on a random person. She has had a history of treating acquaintances of Johnny poorly, and hence her being nice to the mechanic is perplexing. There's a theory that Amber might have been trying to lure him into hitting on her. She might have set up a recording of their meeting, and if he did make an advance, she could use it to extort money from him. However, this is just a theory. Neither David nor we know why Amber acted the way she did. David Kalaki then detailed what else happened during that meeting. He stated that she was learning how to operate the sound system very quickly. As he set up her contact list on the digital display in the car, he noticed that she had Dr. David Kipper as one of her contacts. In case you didn't know, Dr. David Kipper was a witness who testified in the Depp vs. Heard trial. He was an addiction specialist who expressed concerns over Depp's continued alcohol use. He had also stated that he never saw any violence or assault happen between the couple. Dr. David Kipper was also a client of David Kalaki. Upon seeing his name on the screen, the mechanic had excitedly asked the actress if she knew him as well. The actress's demeanor had done a full 180 and he described her vibe as shockingly icy. She screamed at him inquiring how he knew the doctor. The car then remained uncomfortably silent, after which she stormed out and walked back to the penthouse. This was the last time David saw her. The mechanic then reported this whole conversation to Johnny's property manager, Kevin Murphy, and Johnny's sister, Christy Dombrowski. People believe that this incident where her mood and expressions change with a very slight tick is evidence of borderline personality disorder. This takes us back to Dr. Shannon Curry's testimony where she had diagnosed Amber Heard with borderline personality disorder and histronic personality disorder. David then stated that he continued work for the couple for the next few years, even after after they separated in May 2016. Amber Heard had asked him to continue working on her 1968 Mustang, making further changes. He also worked separately on Johnny Depp's automobiles. In June 2016, his contact with both of them had ended, and it was time for him to receive payment. Kevin Murphy, the manager, had instructed him to lay down separate bills for Depp and Heard. He then told him to send an invoice to Amber directly and stated that his work for Depp will be paid for. David followed the directions and sent the invoice to the actress along with the information he had received from Murphy. He had further stated that he did not want to interfere with whatever was going on between the couple and that he just wanted payment. Amber did not take the news well. 
David declared that he received an extremely hostile response over the phone from her. She started yelling obscenities and threats at him and claimed that she was very low on money due to her ex-husband. She then explained that there was a legal contract between the two that entitled Johnny to pay all of her bills. She ordered him to forward the invoice to Johnny instead. David then requested a picture of the agreement for his own reference, but she claimed that she had no authority to disclose it. David then asked her to pay if he could not see the contract, to which she started yelling expletives again. She then stated that she had never authorized him to work on her Mustang and hence she would not pay. David then reminded her of the tons of phone calls and text messages he had gotten from her. The actress then once again verbally attacked him and Johnny. David could no longer entertain it and cut the call. He then spoke directly to her accountant, Hector Galindo, demanding cash. The interaction was very polite. However, Amber interfered and snapped again, threatening to sue him for extorting money from her. This was the last time David spoke to the actress. David further stated that during the time he worked on the Mustang, he would be frequently contacted by Amber Heard's father, David Heard. That's three Davids in just one testimony, and there are a few more Davids involved in the case. Mr. Heard would also try to give him specific instructions and request updates on the Mustang. After his daughter and Johnny split in 2016, Mr. Heard began to bore resentment toward Depp, even though he was initially a big fan of the actor. According to David Kalaki, Mr. Heard had stated in a phone call with him that Johnny was supposed to pay him 10% of some money, but he did not. This was the finance he was going to use to produce a movie. David Heard then stated that Johnny was ruining his daughter's rising career in Hollywood. Would. The conversation escalated very fast as Mr. Heard began to yell threats of violence towards Johnny. He claimed that he was going to beat the actor up and went on to boast about his shooting abilities and that Depp would be the target. David Kalaki then tried to tell him to calm down as it seemed that Mr. Heard was drunk. However, this further enraged him and he started verbally attacking the mechanic. David then advised him to get help and cut the call. He then reported the entire incident to Kevin Murphy and requested him to convey it to Depp's attorney. He felt that such threats must be taken seriously and not just as the ramblings of a drunk man. It's worth noting that David Kalaki is the son of a homicide detective and hence had dealt with threats before. The testimony has made waves across the internet. People are disgusted with the way the Herds treated Kalaki. However, nobody is surprised as many such incidents of Amber Heard being rude to people who help her have come out already during the trial. And now we would like to hear your thoughts on this. Why do you think Amber Heard and her dad acted that way towards David Kalaki? Let us know what you think in the comment section down below. And as always, like and subscribe to keep up with the latest updates.